Hey everyone, Amazing Libertarian back again. So, uh, for the last video, sorry about my head floating so close, I didn't even realize I was that close to the camera. So this video is going to be about the different assumptions that theists and atheists make for the foundations of their very beliefs. Theists generally believe that they make the assumption that because if you can't prove that there is no God, they make the assumption that there is a God. And an atheist makes the assumption that if you can't prove there is a God, there is no God. So the difference is the atheist says automatically that there is no God unless you can prove it. And the theist says automatically that if there is no, if you can't prove that there is no God, then there is a God. So there's two different assumptions. And that's why there's so much confusion over people's different beliefs when they talk to each other. Because a, uh, theists and atheists come from two different viewpoints and two different upbringings that can leave them with a different mindset about the very issues that they're debating about. So that's why oftentimes there's going to be confusion about the different assumptions that theists and atheists make. And really, I'm not saying one is more correct than the other, the either assumption, but everyone has their own assumption that they're inclined to make. Some people are more inclined to think that there is a creator, and some people are more inclined to think that there's not a creator. And so the, um, the weight of evidence is on the other person to convince them otherwise. And if they can't, that person is going to go with their general assumption from what they began with. So for me, you know, I began with, well, I do believe there's a creator. And that's probably because I went to a private school, a private Christian school. But I think the main reason that I don't believe the fundamentalist ideas of Christianity is because I went to that fundamentalist Christian school and naturally I'm a rebellious person so if they're going to tell me that all of these things are true in the Bible without even explaining them or giving some sort of reasoning of course obviously I'm going to go against that and argue with them and be rebellious and say no you're wrong that's the whole reason I'm not a fundamentalist Christian is what I think I think I'd be more of a fundamentalist if I hadn't gone to the Christian school because if I'd gone to a public school I would rebel against that and say no atheism is wrong and I'd be a total fundamentalist Christian but because I went to the private school I did have the idea that yes there is a creator that was ingrained in my head from the very beginning and I find it hard to believe that there isn't one so that's where my assumption comes from and most people get their assumption based off of where they went to school and how their parents believe or how they pass that down which brings me to another issue I wanted to talk about which is mindless believing of something just because the people around you believe it it annoys me so much and this is more common in christians than other religions or other uh or atheists mainly but the christians they believe what they believe only because their parents have told them it's true or only because their school has told them it's true which is totally against the whole idea that you need to form your own beliefs and that you need to actually the whole idea of Christianity is that you go to God for your, uh, for salvation. And if you're not going to God, you're only trusting that your parents are telling that what your parents are telling you is true, or what the school is telling you is true. You're not actually going to God to get this belief system. You're going to the school or your parents. And I have almost every one of my friends at my Christian school do this: is they just take what the teacher says, and then they think they've created their own beliefs by doing that. They think because my teacher told me so now these are my own beliefs but they have no beliefs of their own they have the beliefs of their teachers and their parents and the people around them and so if you ask them a question about Christianity it's like a parrot talking I mean they repeat exactly word for word what their teacher said and if you ask them a question they haven't been taught about in class yet they don't know what to say because they can't logically think like if they've never been taught about why abortion is wrong but they've been taught that murder is wrong a natural Christian would go oh well I don't know about abortion I've never been told about it even though Christianity says it's wrong, they wouldn't know because they've never been taught it, because they don't form their own beliefs. So, the, um, the, like, every time any of my friends will, like, start a prayer in class or something, which annoys me to no end, I hate praying at school, it's, I think it's stupid and not what school is for, but if they do, I mean, immediately their first response is, thank you for this day. Like, that's how everyone starts their prayer, and I'm just like, you don't mean it when you say it over and over and over again. Like, if I repeat something to you a million times, it loses its effect. And for that reason, I'm going to stop this video now because I think I've made my point. So, Amazing Libertarian, out.